Sasha and Miles. Welcome back to another episode. This week we're taking it outside for a workout in the park. Let's meet our comic. My name is Bradley Semituk and I do stand-up comedy. Um, do you know why you're here today? To work out in the park. Sick. Are you excited about it? Do you have any reservations? Uh, I'm pretty tired, but I'm excited about it. Uh, I hope it fixes my mental health. To rate your mental health on a scale of one to ten, what would you rate yourself? Oh, that's tough. Normally, like eight, and today, like three. I don't feel good today. Okay. <laughs> Gives us a good starting point to get that raise, so it's good. Do you think that your mental health is important to you? Yes. A little bit of exercising. I don't go crazy. Uh, I like to walk around. I like to do a little meditating every now and again. And uh, other than that, yeah, that's about it. I like to do all that and then at night I spiral and reset it so that I have something to work on the next day. I think I'm very impressed that you are normally at an eight, so yeah. you win. <laughs> That's so high. <laughs> it's the highest. <laughs> um, I don't know if any of my friends would believe that, but that's what I'm going with. Okay. <laughs> you put sunscreen on today? No. Or, uh, okay. I didn't know it was going to be sunny. Well, I woke up 20 minutes ago. How many hours of sleep do you get a night? Well, day? it's been rough lately. Like uh, last night, I think I ended up falling asleep around like six. That's the wrong answer. That's what my thoughts sound like right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm at about a 6 a.m. to noon 30-ish sleep schedule right now. I'm trying to work on it. <laughs> Certified badass. It's not great. <laughs> yeah, I get off at 10.30 and then I scroll on my phone until 6 a.m. and then I go, it's time to get some rest. Welcome back to another episode and today we're going to be working out. So I have personal trainer Amy Davidge here. Hi. Hi. Thanks for joining us. I'm a little bit nervous to work out. I'm off my game, but it's, you're going to do fine. Okay. You're going to be great. I've been doing personal training for about 10 years, just shy of now. Okay, um, wow, so okay, yeah. you're like a veteran, so we're in good hands. Yeah, you guys are gonna do fine. <laughs> okay. This is a project about mental health. Okay. So basically we're trying to hopefully do an activity that we leave a little bit happier. Do you think that working out and being active is good for people's me mental health, I guess? Yeah, I think there's so much benefit to physical activity and just movement for the body for mental health. The endorphins that you get from moving and being physically active just have such an effect on your brain and on the way that you feel mentally as well as physically. Yeah. Um, so I think physical activity in any form is great for mental health. Cool. Yeah, that would be my next question. Like, is there a certain form of exercise that like people should be doing? I guess, well, I guess we're gonna see what you're gonna make us do today. Uh, um, I don't think there's a certain physical activity. I think that people need to find what they enjoy and what they like doing. Otherwise, they're not gonna wanna do it. Yeah. And there's no point in doing something that you don't like. So hopefully you guys enjoy the workout today. Um, but I think the key is really finding movement that you enjoy. So whether it is workouts or just going for a walk or swimming or biking, whatever you really enjoy is gonna be the key to that. Perfect, that's a good answer for us. I think that's important. Yeah. Do you think that people should be active every day or is it okay that you know it's like once a week like is there a specific amount of time people should be active i don't know yeah i think it's i think it's super dependent on the person okay um i definitely think there's benefits to moving your body every single day but it doesn't mean going to the gym and hitting hard weights or going for a bike ride every single day even just getting your body moving so going for a walk around the block or walking around your office during the lunch break some kind of movement throughout the day um, is going to be key okay yeah. that seems like 
be manageable. Especially as like comics, we're on the road a lot. Yep. So hopefully maybe we can implement some workouts that we did today. Yeah, absolutely. Walk around when you're grabbing a bite to eat, do an extra lap around the restaurant. Maybe that you're eating at, I don't know. <laughs> That's something, right? That's a good idea. Before we get started, do you wanna give us a rundown of what we're gonna do today? Yeah, for sure. So we're gonna do some basic body movements um, and we're gonna work in an interval based workout. So we're gonna work for about 40 to 45 seconds of work and then we're gonna rest for about 15 to 20 seconds. We're gonna do five different exercises um, and work lower body, upper body, and a little bit of core as well. So this is gonna be like a full body. Yeah, we're gonna do a full body workout today. And we do have rest, so yeah, that's good. I'm feeling good about the 10 seconds of rest. 20 seconds. 20 seconds, yeah. even, I. it's getting better and better. A little bit scared, but I think you have good vibes. Like I think we're gonna do this and we're gonna be fine. Yeah, you guys are gonna be great. You're gonna sweat and probably breathe hard, but you're gonna be great. Yeah, and it's a beautiful day, so it's a good day to be outside, and I think that's vitamin D, so that's really important, too. Absolutely. Okay, sick.
actually will be on the ground. But I'll let you know when we're about five seconds up. Hey, you're spinning. Good job. I'm feeling good. I think this is going to be a good one for my Fitbit today.
You know who wants to be good at those? Mm -hmm. yeah. This one too, if you need a little break, you can drop the knees out of your plank. Okay, I might do that. Do it for me. Instead of here, so you just be on your knees instead. So still maintaining that plank position. You guys, so 
Let's stay on the ground. Okay. Let's put our hands over our head. Yeah. Let's let our legs go straight out in front of us. And just reach. Reach with your fingertips. Reach with your toes. Oh my just god. Just let everything so kind of stretch out here. And then when you're ready, let's grab onto our knees. So we'll don't mind, don't mind about that. That's what I'm doing. Keen. Um, let's tuck our knees into our chest and just give our shins a little hug. You can do little circles if you want. You can just stay here. Don't start. Don't start. <laughs> and then we'll drop both of the soles of our feet to the ground. Okay. We'll put one foot on top of the other knee. See this? Yep. <laughs> and then you're going to reach through and grab onto the leg that's on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. And then just have it to your body. You can relax your head if it feels more comfortable, yeah. If it feels comfortable, just stay up so you can do that. And then if you feel like you want a bit more, the knee that's on the, the foot that's on the top, you're going to let your body roll over so that comes to the ground. So you're going to let go of your leg and just let your leg roll. And then you, this part, let your head rest down. Let your head and shoulders rest really on the ground. Oh, wow. Here. Things are cracking. Things are cracking. <laughs> Good, let's take five breaths here. Uh, Am I doing it wrong right No, nope, you've got it, right? She's just let her foot go, that's all. Perfect, and then when you feel ready, let's come back up to center. And then we'll switch legs, so both feet will go back on the ground. Grab onto the opposite. Yeah? Yeah. It feels tighter? Yeah. You guys are gonna roll to each other here. And then when you're ready, we can Synchro. take, that, take so like, that roll to the ground. What would you rate us on the, like, in terms of uh, trainability? Mm. Like, are we, like, your strongest class you've ever had? Or what? Absolutely. Oh, Most yeah. mentally strong, I would say. <laughs> no. I don't think you can rate them. Everyone does what they can. I know. Uh, I would give us, I would give us an eight. I would give you, yeah. Because there's room for improvement, oh. but we really did give it our all. Yeah. yeah Stay we positive. Hard. You showed up, really, that's what counts. You were here. You got out of bed. Oh, it's so hard, I'm gonna have to do laundry. <laughs> and then let's roll back up to the center. And then however you guys wanna come up to like a seated position, we'll come up to the seated. And we'll just put this over our feet together. Oh, round six was a killer, you guys. We actually worked out for so long, we had to cut out a lot of it. Yeah. But, you know, don't be overwhelmed by our skill. Just keep at it is the yeah. point of like, just... Yeah, like, guys can't keep up with us, that's okay. Yeah. It's, yeah. Let's come. And bring one foot out again. So we'll come to the knees in front of us. And then the other foot's going to be right behind us. That feels good. Okay, so from here, we're actually just going to flip to the other side. So we're going to bring the soles of our feet to the ground. And then rotate. Whoa, that looks so cool. Am I doing it? Yeah, there you go. So just a nice little opener and stretch for the hips. If you want to lean over that front knee a little bit, you can too. Okay. Right. We'll flip to the other side. I'm going to do that at home. That feels really good. And then we can come back and we'll just do a couple of waves each side. So you can just lean over your front knee. It'll just stretch a little bit of the boot in the hamstring. Yeah, I feel it. It's like a pigeon, like a modified pigeon if you've ever done. Yeah. This is stretching all sorts of That's parts. for your there. lunges. Good. And then let's come back to the other side. Oh, oh. <laughs> Those hips are tight. You really got to keep that momentum. From sitting. <laughs> this is also a good one you could do on the road. If you're spending a lot of time sitting or standing. And then back to the other side. We'll do one more in each direction. And then we'll give the quads a little stretch. Arms a little love and then we'll call her a day. I am trying, I'm starting to cool down. I'm feeling like heart rate's so. coming down a little bit. Yeah, I feel good. good. Last time to this other side. Yo, this is my favorite thing. God, you're getting good at it. It's so hot. I know, I heard that one. They're popping? Yeah, I think it always extend a little bit more. We'll tuck our feet under. So young. Yeah. We're 
it's going to give the quads a little bit of love. So we're going to take a step forward. So here, yeah. most of the time we're like keen to just lean, yeah. but if you think about your hips just kind of slightly forward. And then if you lean a bit extra, slide your foot out and lean. Where am I supposed to be feeling? And if you need a bit more, you can move a little bit. And then the same arm as our leg that's on the ground, we're gonna reach up. And then if you wanna take a little bit over, you can it like this. Yeah. It's also a nice balancing act. This feels like a yoga move, kind of. A little bit. And then we'll come down and we're just gonna switch legs. Wow, my balance is really bad. Like, I should have on that. So then we'll just think about just that hip and slightly forward, so you're just not squeezing the bum, but just rotating the pelvis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like work a good sweaty workout, but I feel like, so. I'm like, yeah, we did it. Yeah, that's how you know you did something. can try it at home. Six <laughs> rounds. Go go get it. Do you feel like a, above a three? Yeah. I feel like a five right now. Yeah. I actually feel like I'm at a five too. Certified badass.